Yo, what's up guys? Back with another video for you guys on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over some solo cash cup victory cups and teaching you guys how to win a victory cup because it's so easy. Just watch, learn, and I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks of what to do and how to maneuver yourself through the game to just win and get your first earnings, $100. Come on, this is easy money. So let's get right into this video and make sure to just comment anything if you want. If you guys like this type of content and make sure to use Kanata in the Fortnite item shop. Code Kanata, please, but enjoy the video all right so let's go into the most recent game i won it was like two weeks ago no it was like three weeks ago three to four weeks ago but you know me played only two games i won my first one easily but you guys don't understand the way solos is this season and the way victory cups are if you're a decent player i think i could win these games on controller really it's not hard at all these games are just you gotta make sure that you have the right like loot positioning and just iq i'll teach you guys everything you guys need to know in this video i know a lot of you guys are struggling all you a lot of you guys are struggling on where to land, what to do, how to win. So let's just get right into it. You guys know I own the racetrack on every region. You guys seen recently. This is me back from Copenhagen. Five on a Thomas H. <laughs> Something simple for me. First things first, whenever you're landing at a spot, you should land somewhere that you know that has good mats, good heals, and you shouldn't try to play shambles because the way solo cash goes for it, there's three games. And yeah, everyone wants to win three games, but realistically, you're gonna win just one because there's ELO in these tournaments. The way the ELO works, it's your first game, it's random. You could have anybody in your game because everyone's on their first game, right? Let's say you dial spawn your first game. The second game's gonna be way easier than the first one. And it, let's say you dial spawn back-to-back -back games. The third game is gonna be the worst players in the lobby it's gonna be the players that just die twice back to back but if you win your first game you're gonna be in a high lobby with players that won well, you get what I'm saying. There's ELO in these lobbies. Make sure that your first game, you don't play scared. It's either you win your first game or you don't. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. You can win your second game. It's way easier to win the second game. Make sure you have a drop map for the spot you're landing at. Look at me. I know exactly my drop is all in my head. Landing in. You know me, best drops as always. Just landing in. Make sure I get a gun. I know what I'll race track with this kid landing behind me out here. I'm gonna kill this kid real quick, right? Something like get my slurp truck up and as I know, there's someone on the other side of racetrack that landed there. So what I do is make sure that I'm looted up. But also, you gotta make sure your mats are always good. If I get a key here, I'm getting shot at from behind me. I'm getting pinched. But I know there's barrels here. And I know that I have a key chest. I'm just gonna get the gold combat. Because the combat SMG in solos is really, really good. There's a gun that you can shoot right through walls. I see a guy over here. I see Jaivai on the other side. But what I do is make sure I farm up. I have around like 300 mats. I don't know where he's at. So and I take it slow because I know racetrack like the back of my hand. Whoever lands on this side really doesn't have a lot of mats and not a lot of heals. Look at that 13 builds. His loadout's not that bad. He has good heals actually somehow, but his mats are really low. I'm double his mats. So I just start spraying him out. I'm like, dude, I'm just gonna spray out all his mats. He really can't do anything about it. So I'm just gonna start building up because I have so much brick. I'm gonna wait for him to peek, try to aim to him. I think he's low. But he starts kicking me out 30. I still have height. He is he's low on mats now. And I'm just gonna push him. I told you guys never to play scared your first game. Make sure you get your E-limbs. Make sure that if you can get something, get the refresh. Never play scared because your first game, it doesn't matter what happens your first game. You can die your first two and still win your third. I've done it before in the past. But I see him go up, he mantles up. I hit him for 30 there. He's above me. I chop him out. 27, 30, and kill him. Quick, quick little jive by kill. So let's just fast forward here. Nothing special. I'm just gonna loot the POI up, make sure I'm good on heals, ammo, mats, just everything. I'm coming down here and loot this. This is where I see someone, right? I don't know he's here actually until now. Like, what the hell is this guy doing? So I'm just gonna loot up. I, mean, I don't wanna really fight him, but if he wants to fight, he got cracked. Okay, I'm like, right when I hear that crack sound, I'm like, okay, this might just be a free kill. So I look up. And I'm like, it's not even worth it. Look at my loot, look at my mats. Let me just go back to racetrack, heal up, mat up, and make sure I'm good, right? There's no point in just sitting here and trying to fight someone a kill where I don't need it because you guys know the victory cups, so you need to win the game. I just back up. Also another thing, shield EMPs are your best friend. If you have vending machines around you, throw them at a vending machine, can either give you 50, 100, or 150 gold every time you hit it. And with gold, you can upgrade your guns or reroll better perks. One of the most important things in solos is perks. Best four perks right now is first assault, unless you don't hold AR. But I really believe in this meta that AR is way too good. So I hold the AR, shotgun, and I hold triple heal usually. I do not hold any rotation because I'll explain that why later into the video. But you want to get first shotgun, first assault, medium ammo required to have so you can have max ammo and rarity check. Rarity check is one of the best perks in solos because there's no siphon at the moment. You guys know that. You hold green guns and when you get a kill, you will get siphon. If you can't get rarity check, I would say just get roaming redeploy is a good one. Don't get it with Sprints just get roaming redeploy just in case. It's another good perk, I don't really know, but 
whatever. I'm just matting up. Oh, key master is a good one. No, that's another thing. If you get key master, look around for these hollow chests to see if you have a maven shotgun. The the heist of maven, heist of breacher. You got the best experience. So there's a guy on me. He tries to sneak up on me, and you see how I'm not gonna be playing scared. I know I haven't touched him yet. I could back up off this, but I really believe I'm better than this guy. So I, so I'm gonna go for some peace here. Wonder, this guy has no idea what's happening. Go up and look, the SMG straight shoots right to the wall. Get the wolf in the and he's free little kill. And of course, you don't have to fight that if you don't want to. I just need to kill him. And you know I'm better than this guy. Yep. Speed chest. You see how I'm holding triple heals here. The heals that you want to be holding early into the game should be minis, splashes, and big pots. That's your triple, that's your loadout. You don't want to be holding anything else. You don't want to hold SMG. I, you see how I dropped the combat for the three shield fish? Because I know the combat is not needed to win a game. It is a shotgun, AR, and triple heals. And later in the game, you'll see the heals that you change out. So I'm going to just be farming here, chilling. I didn't even know there was someone hiding in here. This was crazy. I didn't even know my brother Lewis is sitting here. But I'm just gonna go past him, right? I don't wanna fight. He shoots me and I'm just like, all right, let me just get out of here. While I'm just walking around, just showing what I'm thinking of right here. Oh, the zone's not showing. Oh, I see a kid here and I go for a fry. Right when you crack someone for 50, you know right away, yeah. Like, what is this loadout? Eight floppers, six chunks. Like, right when you crack someone for 50, it's an instant kill. It's like the freest kill of your life. These kids that are using for 50, my brother Carter does not really know what's happening. I didn't even know I caught him. I didn't even know he was just sitting here. Like, what, what is, bro, bro, bro. Carter. My brother Carter, what are you doing? Which sucks in this water view is that we can't really see where the zone is. Where the zone is right now, chat, I mean, for the YouTube, is right here. Around like here on the left, you guys can see my cursor. It's like this, right? It's gonna pull to the left side of the map. And what you wanna do is not on the first zone closing, not on the second zone closing. Right when the third zone appears, you need to be counting. Try to get on the edge of the third zone before second zone disappears to find caches. Because this game, you'll see me find caches. And the thing that's in solos, slurp juices are your best friend. Now, caches only give you one slurp. So if you're on edge and you know where the caches really spawn like I do or sit on edge, you can find two and you'll get cap slurps, which is incredible incredibly helpful for you to win a game is slurps and gold shotgun of course gold pump see i'm just waiting being patient i don't want a key i don't need anything and you'll see uh, you see i'll use a key chest try to get a pump here and you're about to see why i love holding the ar here i'm just chilling waiting for zone it just sucks that you guys can't see it but i'm just looking for zone zone pops i look for go for edge caches start spawning right let me go find, let me go find you guys where the caches will spawn i heard a cash spawn did a cash spawn hear me We'll show that later, but I just want to show this kill real quick why I love pulling the AR. If you really think your AR aim is good like mine, so I hold it like four bullets and he's dead. You have no idea what happened. Where are the caches going to go? I know I caught some down here. This is where the edge spawns. I get a cache here. There's a cache there. There was another one here. I remember getting that one. And there was three caches around me. All you guys need to know is play edge. Yep, another cache right here on edge. You see how on edge, the circle is like this. So like the circle is like something like this right now. Like third zone is like this. See one here. It's probably more. Yep, look at this. One, another one. Back to back, two, three. Just sitting on edge is just allows you to find caches right next to each other. You guys can see that right here. I'm, I'm go in. I go for my cache that spawns. This one, this one's with mine. I instant open it and I worry about finding another cache right away. So what do I do? Start flying in, try to shoot him. Maybe he's going for a cache. Oh my God, I'm anybody. Another thing where you guys can do is learn where the caches will spawn. On the same zones, the caches will spawn in usually the same area. So like I walk over here, I know Edge is over here. And what do I do? I find another cache. I'm like, oh, perfect. I didn't see that one though. I didn't know one spawned over there, but this guy got it, whatever. And I'm not gonna even worry about getting that cache. But I go back here. And I open up the box, get the gold pump. And what I do here is check, what do I drop? What, what should I drop for the slurp? And it should be the splashes. Because as you guys know, splashes only heal for 15 per. And it's not really fast heals, it's just infinite sprint, right? Wait, no, I might I might drop it later. Because I, I might like rethink my decision. But I don't re actually remember, actually, hold on. This is like a couple weeks ago. So I get two slurp and, oh yeah, no, I get hit here. Yeah, so I don't hold the splashes because it's 15 per. It only gives you sprint, right? I just need fast heals just in case I get keyed and having slurfish is really good. Here, you want to be checking every bush and solos. I did check this bush. I don't know how he's checked it. And he still pumps me here. Like, man, like what? What do I do? Instantly tarp out, pop my insta shield fish and I'm like, no, no point in fighting. Let me just go back to my cash box. This is incredibly smart. Knowing that I have extra heals back in my cash boxes, there's no point trying to fight that guy. 
I'm gonna just pop that and get splashes instead of the shield fish because I already had, because I already popped everything. But I would have held the shield fish for the, the chugs. So I run in, the zone pulls like right here, something like this, right? And I just sit on center. I try to cap my max out, of course. I'm gonna go up, run up, I'm gonna farm the brick. Make sure I'm cap, cap, cap. I didn't get cap my metal out though. I should have on back of my cash boxes, but it doesn't matter. See, I'm going center here. I see a guy here getting shot at. And when you when you're getting shot at by a kid on a hill, so I'm getting shot at by a kid on top of this hill right here. He loves, he loves, he wants to see what he's playing surge, even though there's 48 up. What I do is make sure that I use my max. So I can build it off. I never want to be getting shot at. Wood is incredibly easy to refarm, so I'll just turn the mobile back up. And I know there's plants that are here. Okay, this is all the map knowledge, of course. Plants, make sure I'm good. Make sure I'm good on wood. Five, five, four, fifty. And I'm just gonna chill down here. Wait for the next zone to pop. I'm gonna push. Zone pops, and it pulls to the left side of the map, as you can see. And I run straight to center. Going right to center. See a guy here. I fry. I go all the way deep. Seeing this guy, whatever. Box up in wood. Just chill out. Cap out my mats. Just chill. We don't need to do anything. I'm waiting for zone to pop. I know zone pops soon here. Seeing guy fight, and it's just really not smart to open up. I instantly close, you guys see that? This guy's trying to come forth. I'm like, maybe this could be a kill, maybe this could be a kill. And I'm like, not even worth it. And I should run away. You tag that, it's fine. Use mats here, of course, build it off. Reform farm a little. Or check the, check the hollow chest, nothing good. I just run in, see the guy over here. Try to get it more center. The zone pulls down to shatter. It's like, it's like right here right now, the zone. As you guys can see how everyone is in this area. But it does pull here, I wait, it pulls down. What you can see is in solos, I instantly rotate. That is something incredibly important in solos is right when the zone pops, you should just go, don't worry about it. You see I'm not holding rocket ramp, I'm not holding crash pads, I'm not holding anything else. You don't need it to win a game. You don't need, all you need is heals and good guns and your ability to be a good, right? That's it. So I ended up here, right when zone pops. Don't be like this guy, I remember this guy. Don't be, no chat, guys, be, please do not be like go bears. You're gonna see why, I remember this guy. Really. I instantly go slash myself that infinite run, and he's looking. Like, why are you not going, Go Bears? Like, can we just go? Look at this guy. These are like you guys. What's the point of not rotating here? And he's holding a rock rim, already a big mistake. He doesn't even have fast heals, and he dies later on because he's not rotating. Let's actually just, I'm gonna just gonna go in here. I'm just running in, just bucking it down the center with the slap splashes. Let's see what Go Bears is up to, actually. Let's see how Go Bear dies here. He slap flashes incredibly late after me instead of going right away. And he probably dies here. Just something, I couldn't tell you. He tried to follow me. He goes right instead. Oh, wow. And he's just dead. Instead of following me and being a smart player, decides to just go down the center, but I make it in for free. Let's actually rewatch my rotate. Show you guys what I was thinking during this rotate. Right here, I see that it pulls. You guys know I splash, run straight down. And I want to be close because zone pulls down for shattered. And I want to make it to the left. I want to stick on the left side. I don't want to go be out in the open. I want to stick to the left side of the, of the water. Make sure I have like, an area to be on, chill on. Can't get that chest. So I wrap left, wrap left. There's no one in the area. Try to reform a little bit. My mats are a thousand mats. A thousand mats is enough. For me. And I just get in, just chill out. And I try to always look for a refresher because the thing in solos, when you can always cap your mats out, you should. I hear that this guy dies, Go Bears dies down here, and I instantly go, I hear it, and I try to go for the mats, right? I, I, I achieve the mats, get everything, try to pop this extra big for adding extra HP. Pop it, and I just, and I just run away. I just run right back, and like, damn, what is money doing? I'm like, oh, no, I'm not gonna fight him. Die on my wall, I pump out, get back in my box, I'm out. I'm cap loop, see a kid, free kill. Zone pops here instantly. What do I do? You guys see me instantly go. I'm the first person on the rotate. Pull my back off, get all the way in, and I'm just showing. So I get on half, I see half here. I try to look for up there. My boy Icely, I'm choking on the show. I hear a guy mantle on me. Quick reaction, of course, out of me. Box up, chill out. Don't want to fight this guy, but I see that's a free chop, and whenever I see a free kill, I want to go for it, of course. I chop him out, hold him out. 50. Chill, no one's shooting at him. This guy's dead. AR kills. Look at all these guys having to get into zone. I hold them out. As you guys can see, this is half naff right here, and there's 12 a lot. So what do I do? I see height and I instantly go. Oh, 
for height here is probably a really good play because I have decent mats. If I had a little bit more, it would have been better, of course, but I do make a mistake this game. I probably shouldn't have played for height this early. I mean, playing for height this early is not bad, but it's just I don't have a lot of mats. I got 600 mats on my side. So first moving pulls this way in front, as you guys can see. Everyone's trying to rock ram. I'm just playing height, just chilling. So I'm just gonna get in. I'm just really low on mats here, which is the problem. Which really loses me height later into the team. I think just trying to get up the air. This is why the AR is so good, because if you have height and you have the AR, you can pressure anybody off your layer on height behind you. So I connect ahead. Get people. Trying to, just trying to get any refreshes to see if I can go down and get some mats. And I'm only I'm wasting a lot of mats here. This is the problem. I need to really I need to refresh really bad. That was the problem holding height without a lot of mats. If I had around a thousand mats, thousand like 200, 300 mats at the start holding height, I would still have 800 mats by now. And I would probably just win the game first moving. But this guy sees me, he fries me, and I instantly pop a slurp. And I know right away I have, I'm, I'm about to the game if, he, if I don't take that height. So I take it slow, look at him. He's really head, ahead of me. I try to chop him out here. And I get chopped out, and I have 100 mils. I can't really play height here. I'll try still looking for it if I can kill him. But I get chopped out again, incredibly unlucky. So I just, I have to just play the low ground, right? I have four builds. That's really good for a kill. What I do is just chill, chop, and try. You have to understand in your first lobby, guys, the players in the game are incredibly bad. If you are aggressive, you should never be nervous. Never. Because these games are, it's incredibly, it's top 7,500 to qualify. I qualify in, into these tournaments off one game. This guy, I'm not nervous to fight him. I'm like, what's good? I'm down to fight you right now. Let's go. But he runs all out. I have one build. I'm just sitting on low ground trying to look for anything. So what I do here is get on low ground. Look at, look at, look for extra loot. That's another thing in solos. When you're on low ground, you always try to look for extra loot. There will always be something extra, enough, anything. In any circumstance, any, a solo with nothing, something will appear. But you guys see that my heals saved me in this game already. Having two slurps, a lot of splashes, just, just cap heals in general. So I find some mats here. I get 100 brick off this body, actually, like I said. And I try to get ahead. I see this guy, and I'm incredibly aggressive right away. Like, I have to fight this guy. This is, the, this is my position. I, I crack him, so what do I do? I try jumping in right away. With all my mats I have, can't, can't, can't take the wall. So what I do is pop a slurp. I'm in zone here, and hopefully it shows. I go on left. I turn dead and kill him. And this guy feeds me 500 mats. Look how bad that player is. I hide, flank it. I'm in zone. I get up, take height, and this guy's trying to grief me. So I try to fight this guy, which is an incredibly stupid decision. I should have just taken height off the guy and seeing that it's top three, but I get chopped out and I'm like, oh, I fight, thank you. Let me heal up, splash, spray, and I just end up just sitting here, just shelling. I don't really need to do anything special, anything too, too crazy. I didn't do anything crazy this game. All I did was sit here, wait for these guys to come out of zone. They're fighting in zone. Perfect for me. That's all I did. Wait for them to come out. I hear them coming out to 1v1. And... Yeah. Incredibly easy game. I don't think I did anything special. All I did was just go for caches, rotate it early, and just looked for height in the end off a kill. Nothing too special, nothing too crazy, but um, yeah, like that's how you guys can easily, it's incredibly easy to win a game. The solos, just don't be nervous, just be confident, make sure, like I said, your first game doesn't always matter. You could always win your second or third, it's way easier. So yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. That's the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, of course. Use code Kanata in the item shop, and hopefully this gets you guys your first earnings, of course, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, there you guys go.